ഹാപ്പി ഡേ ടു ആൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് നിവേദിത ഫൗണ്ടർ ഓഫ് ശ്രീ ആഹന ഫിസിയോതെറപ്പി അക്കാഡമി ആ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി ദി ഡെമോൺസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഹോൾ റിലാക്സ് ടെക്നിക് ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ വി ഹിയർ ഹാവ് എ മോഡൽ വിത്ത് അസ് ഹു വിൽ ഹെൽപ്പ് അസ് ഇൻ ലേണിംഗ് ദിസ് ടെക്നിക് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വിൽ ബി ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ യു ഇൻ ട്രീറ്റിംഗ് യുവർ പേഷ്യൻസ് നോ ലെറ്റ് എസ് കൺസിഡർ ദിസ് പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് ആസ് ഹാവിങ് പോസ്റ്റ് ട്രൊമാറ്റിക് സ്റ്റിഫ്നെസ് ഓഫ് ദി എൽബോ ആൻഡ് വിത്ത് ജോയിൻറ്റ് റേഞ്ച് ലിമിറ്റേഷൻ of doing elbow flexion okay so whenever we choose or opt to do any treatment protocol the first important thing is the patient position position your patient in a comfortable way and in such a way that the joint that you are going to treat is completely accessible in doing all the movements that is possible within the joint the second thing that we should do is the therapist position therapist can either adapt stride standing or walk standing or uh, sitting position or whichever position that will make the session completely comfortable for both the therapist and the patient the next thing that is most important is the instruction that you give to your patient the instructions that you give to your patient should always remain clear and easy to understand now let us get into the treatment protocol instruct the patient to flex his or her elbow please flex your elbow okay so now for her it is only possible up to this range say around it will be 60 to 70 degrees from here what you will have to do is you can opt two principles one is the autogenic inhibition the other one is the reciprocal inhibition now let me first explain to you what is autogenic inhibition autogenic inhibition is nothing but make the patient to contract the agonist that is the agonist of elbow flexion is nothing but your biceps okay so now let us make her to isometrically contract her biceps by resisting okay offer resistance and ask her to isometrically contract try to flex your elbow while i resist it okay up 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 hold this for around 5 to 7 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 okay now completely relax relax now the therapist has to passively take the hand into new range of motion from here again ask the patient to flex his or her elbow up up push it up push it up okay again hold for around 5 seconds completely relax relax and the therapist should take the hand passively into the new range so when you repeat this technique for around 5 to 7 times there will be fatigue that is obtained in the patient's hand so at that time you can stop repeating the procedure and you will find an increase in the range for around 5 to 10 degrees the next protocol is the reciprocal inhibition now again ask the patient to flex his or her elbow actively please actively flex your elbow here what you will have to do is make the antagonist to isometrically contract earlier i had asked her to push it up now i am going to make her to push it down okay please push your elbow down 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 here the contraction again should remain around 75 to 90% so the same resistance must be applied the resistance that the therapist gives should also be around 75 to 90 percentage please push it down down hold for 5 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 relax now passively move into the new range repeat the procedure push it down 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 okay hold for 5 seconds relax so the entire isometric contraction that your patient does the patient must be holding it for around 5 to 7 seconds okay and then you'll have to relax and passively move the elbow into the new range so this is how you do the hold relax method the basic difference between the hold relax and the contract relax method is in the hold relax technique there will be isometric contraction of the muscles that are involved in the treatment protocol 
In the contract relax method, there will be isotonic contraction of the antagonist of the moment that is affected. I hope this video would have been definitely helpful for you all. Thank you.